Alex Oliveira is going to meet Petr Sobota on July 25th in United Arab Emirates on uh, Fight Island and let's put on a brief analysis. Well, Petr Sobota was uh, born in Zabrze, Poland, but he lives in Ballingen, Germany. He fights at welterweight division and uh, his black belt in BJJ riding a score of 17, 6, 1 draw and uh, to be honest, uh, he finished the majority of his opponents via fantastic chokes. He is an expert when it comes to rare naked choke, but he is also very, very powerful fun fighter for triangle chokes, arm bars, all kinds of transitions, great ground game. Simply his ground skills are superb, super, super powerful, super good, and uh, when he holds you on the ground, he'll either out you, finish you via technical knockout, or a submission and uh, when it comes to Petr Sobota's results in his first UFC run he was outworked by Paul Taylor, James Wilkes and Damir Sadolach but later he fought he defeated Pavel Pavlak, Steve Kennedy, Nicholas Dalby and Ben Saunders and lost to some big names like Kyle Noak and uh, Leon Edwards his stand-up game is not the best but his ground game is stunning when it comes to Alex Oliveira Alex Cowboy Oliveira he fights out uh, out of uh, Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, and uh, he is dark blue, prejudiced in Mao Thai, blue belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, and he is predominantly striker, riding on a score of 28 1 and 2 no contests. Looking back at uh, his uh, records, uh, he is a very, very powerful fighter, and when I watched uh, his uh, when I watched his results, I've noticed that he finishes the majority of his opponents via TKO or knockout and he is very very good when it comes to stamina so he is uh, let's say more well-rounded than Petr Sobota he has better stand-up game, better striking he is fair on the ground he defends uh, he defends uh, chokes pretty much well but few fighters finished him via choke including Wallace Dantas Gilbert Burns and Donald the Cowboy Cerrone while when it comes to Petr Sobota nobody has ever finished him uh, via submission. So Petr Sobota has submission advantage, both submission offense, submission defense. When it comes to cardio, it's kind of fun situation because Petr Sobota was outworked many times. But his uh, his stamina is not bad, but it's not the best. Also, Alex Oliveira almost never gets tired, so I give him the advantage. But when it comes to rivals, well, uh, Alex Oliveira is more like a veteran. You know, he defeated KJ Nunes, Priyatur Halman, John Merit. James Montastri, Will Brooks, Tim Means, Ryan LaFleur, Carlos Condit, Carlo Pedrozoli Jr. and Max Griffin. I felt so sorry for Max Griffin in that fight because I thought Max won that fight. I interviewed Max Griffin so it was kinda too personal for me. I think Oliveira has better stamina. I think Oliveira is better in the stand-up but Sobota is better on the ground. Anyway, in this fight I believe Oliveira has worked a lot on his takedown defense and uh, on, uh, I believe he worked a lot on his ground game, so I give slightly more chances to Alex Oliveira, but if Petr, if Petr Sobota submits him on the ground, just don't be surprised, because you know, but a slight advantage to Alex Oliveira here.